I am observing this tank. And I'm observing that the larger, there's a couple of the larger dark blue Pinoy angels are being twits because they're sub-adults and I think they're starting to kind of, um, kind of distinguish their own territory or set out their own territory and just be little twits and chase everybody else because they're bigger and they can. And it's probably like them starting to maybe pair off or want to spawn and breed and stuff. One of the worst culprits is in the middle of the screen, right there. He has a little spot before his tail. And yeah, he, she is being a twit. And I almost think that that one is wanting to pair off. Oh man, the lights are going out. Dang it. Oh, it's 8.30. That would be when the lights go out. Give me a second. Okay. I almost think these two are a pair at the bottom in front of that piece of wood. Because, see? I almost think the one with the little tail spot has is wanting to pair up with the little marble one right there. They're kind of having a little spat, but then the, both of them are chasing other fish. Oh, so what to do? I was going to take, there's so many, the more tanks you have, the more tanks I have anyway, the more different things I could do. I don't know. I don't know. What do we want to do? Well, m most of these fish are what I would call, what I call smaller juveniles. Um, those two that are being twits are what I call medium. See? That marble one, they're both really pretty, but they're both being twits. Um, I just want to get them out of here but I have a few different possibilities of how to move them so I could take them the two that are really being twits and put them in the 60 gallon at least it would get them out of here from the smaller angels and there's just not a whole lot of room in this tank if they're gonna display that kind of behavior. Plus, I have this betta in here. There are plecos in here. Oops. I do not know if you can see the mini snowball plecos underneath this piece of wood. I just don't want, even though I think the angels are chasing other angels because they're displaying, they're starting to display spawning and breeding behavior. So I don't think they would do anything to the autos or the plecos because it's not their interest. They're interested, you know, they're threatened by other angels because they're wanting to pair up with a particular Maybe a particular one. Yeah, I just, I think that's starting to be a pair. Maybe. And then it's like, do I really want to put them in the 60? But I, I have a 20 available, a 20 high. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We need to go make a decision. But I, the thing is, if they're pairing up, Putting them in the 60s is not really going to fix anything. Although it would make, it would just take their behaviors, move them to a different tank. It wouldn't really fix anything. See? There they are again. Being twits. 
Shh. Somebody's dog is outside barking. Fish dilemmas. Great. My guard dog. Honey. Okay. Well, let me go show you my other fish and tanks that are available. I, I was going to move something else into the 20. If I move these into the 20, then that's that much else I don't, can't move into the 20. Fiddle faddle. My dog is saving me from the badness outside in her mind. What will I decide? What should I do? Hmm. Need to put a background on this tank. That's one thing. One thing I need to do. Anyhow, let me go check on these other tanks and or the dog. Okay, another dilemma. I was going to put these rainbows in the 20. Hey, so they have grown up in this tub and I wanted to put them in a real tank. Some of them are Kamakas. No, Zoe. And I thought some of them were pseudomugles. I don't know. I wanted to put them in a real tank and be able to watch them and see them. The other place I could put the two twits. Ooh, reflection. Here's the 60 gallon cube. The light's probably getting ready to power down. Ooh, that's better. There's already quite a few angels in here and there's some smaller and some bigger and yeah. I just don't know that I wanna bring that craziness. If those two are pairing up, I don't really wanna bring their crazy to this tank. Even though this is 60 gallons, it's not a long tank, it's a square tank. Which isn't necessarily that good. Because if somebody in here is pairing up and is displaying aggression because of that and, and chasing other fish, there's only so far they could chase. There's only so far the other fish can go to get away from the one that's trying to take over the territory. So I don't really want to bring their crazy into this tank either. Hmm. I just need more tanks, but I don't want to take care of any more tanks. So there's a fish swap in four weeks and I'll be selling some of my angel fish and probably some rainbows too. So hopefully this is kind of a short term dilemma and I'll free up some space once I sell some fish. I don't know. Another thing I could do is I could take some of these smallish ones that are not as, not some of the smaller ones that are presently in here that I think I'm going to feed them and put them in that other tank and take the more medium ones that are acting crazy and put them in here. Actually, I think I like that. If we're gonna put those medium ones in here, at least take something out of this tank. And that makes more sense I think, to me, for the moment. Rambling thoughts of a fish keeper. It is Sunday night, July 11th. And we're moving the fishes around. Cause I could take some of these smallish ones, put them in that 30 gallon, and they'd probably get along okay with the smallish ones that are in there. 
and then everybody in here would be medium large. Eventually, I'm growing up some kois to put with this koi. I don't really want the kois and the blues to mix, but I'm growing up a few koi juveniles, and eventually I'm going to put them with this koi and just have blues and koi separate, ideally. And one day I'm gonna have a five foot tank, and it's gonna be fabulous. Okay, I moved to Tailspot, and his, her marbled friend into the big tank. And they're not the big fish anymore, but I think it's funny that they're over here with Sky. Um, this really pretty pearl scale blue marble named Sky is their mother. And it's so funny that they're kind of hanging out over here with her, or maybe she's hanging out with them, I don't know. But um, that's their mother. Uh, unfortunately, Sky, uh, Sky's mate Knight died a few days ago, and I ended up putting her back in this kind of pairing community tank, and that's what's going on. So now her mm, kids are misbehaving in the 30 gallon where there's where they were the big, you know, they were the, the big, big guys on the block. And now they are not the big guys. So if they can play nice in the sandbox, we'll leave them in here and then we'll have a more peaceful 30 gallon and hopefully not bring their crazy to the 60 gallon. And some of these guys are there, um, Siblings, I know this is one. I know that's one. Um, there's another one that's the same color. These two, um, these two are the same color. Are babies from Night and Sky and are siblings of the two I just put in there. Anyhow, that's what's going on. We have, I guess for now, I decided not to try to take the smaller ones out uh, the problem is it would be very difficult to catch them. And as long as it's not an issue, I just clean this tank out. As long as I am careful about, it's a little heavily stocked, but I think I'll probably be selling some fish within the next couple weeks or month or so. And that will bring some of my stocking in my fish house down, and then I can maybe move some of the small fish. I just, I have some cleaning to do, and I really don't feel like chasing fairly small angelfish around a 60 gallon cube. It is not easy to catch specific fish in this tank. So I don't really want to do that. I do not look forward to needing to do that. Yep, so, um, hopefully that is a good fix, at least a short-term fix. And we'll determine if these guys are a pair, the marble I just put in here, and tail spots way back at the back. Where is he? He's way back on the back wall. He looks very small, but it's just because he's in the back. I guess his name's Tailspot. <laughs> that, that name's gonna stick, because I'm real creative with my fish names. Like that. So I need to go clean tanks, and I have decided to move these guys, these rainbows, into the 20. They deserve a real tank. I did pull some of them out. And to get a better look, but the thing is you pull rainbows out and put them in a specimen cup and they're scared, you're not really gonna get their colors. So I am going to um, go ahead and clean out the 20 and put them in and let them kind of chill and we can really see what they look like. Okay, we're gonna give this a go getting late, but we're going to put the rainbow fish from the tub into the 20 gallon tank. 
These are juvenile rainbow fish. Tamakas and mystery. We'll figure it out later. Oh yes, and rainbow fish jump. Oh, there's one left. Little guy. Little guy. Hey, little guy. jumping. Yeah, the bucket pouring into a tank. Uh, if these guys are much bigger, they don't need to be, don't need to be. Okay, some of these are Kamakas. And I honestly am not sure what the others are. So we're going to let them chill. And we are going to revisit them tomorrow. Happy Monday. It is the next morning. And it's kind of weird to see juvenile rainbows in this tank. We are going to feed them. Watch the meat. Taking them a minute to realize that I'm feeding them. So I do believe what we have here if we take a closer look and <clears throat> and of course they're like darting around the tank. Yeah, let's take a closer look. They're moving very fast because they're hungry. They're always hungry. Um, so what we have here are not what I thought we had. And I realized this last night as they began to kind of calm down. <clears throat> Um, so what we have a lot of are dwarf neon rainbows. You can see this one kind of in the middle, not in the middle. Um, you can see the little red outline of the fins because those are the male dwarf neon rainbows. They're starting to, they have the blue and then they, their, their body is blue and their fins are red for the males and yellow for the females and the, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of females and they seem to be maybe smaller their yellow isn't as pronounced as the red is so maybe they're developing sl a little slower um and then you know i think some of the others are turquoise but they might be Kamakas. I really just need to watch them. I need to watch them. I need to compare them to the Kamakas that are downstairs. Um, and then there's one. I don't know if you can see where to go. This one in front with the little yellow top fins and the little blue eye right in the kind of middle-ish. He won't be still. That is an Ivan Safai, a Pseudo Miguel Ivan Safai. So basically, I took mops from a lot of different tanks. Well, I, I remember I took, and I probably have video somewhere, but I don't know if I kept it. Um, because, I mean, this is like, okay, what did I breed five or six months ago? Because these guys are several months old. But I put two pairs of dwarf neon rainbows in a 10 gallon, just temporarily to spawn them so that they were alone in the tank, that there were no other rainbows and they could, um, yep, spawn. And they did. So I took all these mops that seemed to have eggs in them and put them in that tub. And some, you know, some of the mops, some of the eggs probably did better than others. Anyway, we ended up with just one Pseudomigil. But yeah, it's like, wait a minute, that one has a blue eye. 
So I don't see where he went now, but uh, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, mo uh, uh, probably about half of these are dwarf neon rainbows and about half of them I think are Kamakas, but I really need to compare them to the Kamakas downstairs that are a little bit bigger. Yep, so that's what we have, and one Pseudomiguel. So I'm gonna take the Pseudomiguel, maybe in a few days, there he is, and put him in with a nano fish, so he'll be with other rainbows of his kind. Um, I just fed them, but let me show you them. So I'm excited. I, <laughs> I had no idea what was in that tub. I'm like, ah, eh, there's some rainbows in there. I mean, they've been in there for months and months, and I, I feed them and I change your water and I take care of them, but from the top or even from the side through that plastic, I couldn't tell what they were. So. Here is the nano tank. So I'm gonna put the Pseudomigill in here. There's a couple thread fins, but for the most part, there's there's just, um, I haven't saw my Pseudomigills in here and green neons couple others. Female Betta, Sun Kissed. Anyway, that's what's going on. So, we still have mystery rainbows. But um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me ramble about fish keeping and breeding and all of the stuff, all of the things, all of the fishy things. Have a good day or night, and I will see you next week, if not sooner.